Hey team, Grant here, hope you are doing great. Uh, in this short video, I wanna to talk to you about motivation, how to keep it high, and, and what sort of sparked this uh, motivation for this video is I'm currently here at Strength Squad and I'm just looking over clients' uh, reflection and goal setting form. So, so what happens now here at Strength Squad and with our online girls as well is that uh, every quarter they get a form that gets sent to them and it gets them to you know set up their next 90 days. So one thing to you know, I guess one quick tip I can give you is that to, in order to keep your motivation high, what you should be doing is setting goals every 90 days. And what sparks you know you to do that is the end of a quarter, right? So every 90 days in the year, you should be then checking in and seeing all right, what what's next? What do I want to hit the next 90 days? So obviously we've just uh, started July and we're in now, we've just started, we're well, in week two now of quarter three. And we've just done this here at my gym, Strength Squad, and also for our online girls, the case study program and program and our and my private girls as well, is that the form went out, you know, hey, what's your goal setting? Your goals for the next 90 days for quarter three. What do you want to achieve by the end of September? So that's one thing that you can do to always keep your motivation high. But look, here's the secret. Here's actually the little, the big reason why I wanted to shoot this video for you. And that's something that we don't do. We all tend to forget, myself included, at least I did a lot of it in the past, is always forgetting to do this. Not so much now that I'm aware of it. And that is to ask yourself every 90 days, what are you most proud of, all right? It's a, it's a very powerful question and it's a very hard question to answer if you don't look out for the little things, the little wins along the way, along your journey, okay? So one thing that you should always ask yourself first before you even go into goal setting for your next quarter is the very first question that we ask in our form to our clients is, what are you most proud of? Let's find out three things you're most proud of over the last 90 days. And to give you some examples of some things that you know clients have, have written down for us here is so like we've got here, um, so Trish, so she lost six kilos in six weeks. We've got Ian losing 17 kilos. We've got Alison Gobbett squatting the 44. Martina dropping from a, a 12 to an eight. Uh, we've got Kirsten Gobbett squatting the 40. Andrew uh, Newber B, PR. Talitha dropping three kilos. Aaron dropping 10 centimeters. So you can see how there's some things that are clients that are most proud of over the last 90 days, over quarter two. And then what happens is we then take those little wins and we, um, we put them up on our, on our little wins board, I guess. You probably can't read that, it's probably backwards, but it just says uh, little, little wins make big wins happen. And that's something you probably need to do as well. And look, you probably don't need to have a wins board, but you should maybe have a little book and write down every 90 days, everything that you've been proud of over the last 90 days, and then every 90 days you get that book out, you look back and like you've got stuff from two years ago, 12 months ago, six months ago, and it just gets you pumped up. It keeps your motivation high because like I said, sometimes we just tend to forget to stop and smell the roses a little bit and look back over our shoulder and see how far we've come. And when we don't do this, you find that you just feel like you know, things aren't working. You know, things aren't moving forward as maybe as fast as want you to. Or sometimes another thing too is like I said, if you don't look out for little wins along the way, you just feel like you're going nowhere. So when you start to recognize these little things, and it could be something small, it could be, hey, finally I'm nailing my breakfast, or finally I hit that new PR on my squat, or finally I dropped that five centimeters that I've been trying to do for the last, you know, two months or whatever. It's just little things, and again, little stuff adds up to big wins. So look, that's the big secret to keeping motivation high, is actually asking yourself every 90 days, hey, more often the better, but what are you most proud of? You know, it's, we're always looking to what's the next best thing, what's the next goal, what can I achieve? But sometimes you simply just gotta stop and, and you know, look back and just actually see how far you come. And when you do this and we do it often enough, then it's easy to keep the motivation high. So look, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Now, if you would like some help, if you'd like some help with uh, whether it be custom programming or some stuff that we can do with your nutrition and just helping you get some results that you deserve, then look, what I want you to do is just simply send me a private message. Let's just have a brainstorm, have a chat, and let's see if I can help you. Apart from that, thank you for watching. Hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.